Hey everyone, Kevin here from River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create triangles using only CSS. So, let's get started. Alright, so here in Dreamweaver I have our basic HTML and CSS setup. I have a blank HTML file and a blank CSS file, and these two are linked together with this link tag in the head of the HTML file. So make sure that you create this link, and once you do, the next step is going to actually be creating something that will hold our CSS triangle. So I'm going to go down here to my body tag, and I'm just going to put in a blank div tag. So once you have your div tag made, you want to go into the opening tag of this div and you're going to take and put in an ID. So I'm going to say ID equals two quotes and then inside of there I'm going to put triangle. So this is basically the identifier for this div. So now what we need to do is go over to, into our CSS and also make that rule so that we can start styling this div into a triangle. So I'm going to go over to the style sheet and we're just going to say hashtag because that signifies a ID and then triangle. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket and then inside of here we can put whatever we want to actually affect the appearance of that div. So the way that we're going to do this is actually by um, using borders which might seem a little weird because uh, divs are inherently either rectangular or square or some form of that shape. Um, they're not usually triangles or circles or anything else like that. So in order to give you guys an example I'm just going to take and type out border. I'll say one pixel, make it solid, and then I'm just going to put a black color on this. So now in order to actually see this border on the div what we need to do is put a height and width. So I'm just going to say height 100 pixels and a width also of 100 pixels. Okay, so now that we've done this, we can come over to our index file and test this in, say, Chrome. And you can see this is what we get. We get this nice square. So it might seem a little weird to you um, that this is going to turn into a triangle by adding borders because you can see it's currently a square. Um, but by taking and turning certain borders transparent, we're actually going to be able to create a triangle shape um, from the square. So we're going to go back over into Dreamweaver and we're going to change our code um, for the height and width to zero. So in order to create the triangle, we need to have a zero height and width on this object. So I'm just going to do that and I'm just going to move my border down below these just so we can keep height and width separate from the rest of this. So with our border, um, what we need to do is specify separate borders for the top, um, bottom, left and right. And now in order to do that, um, we need to put border dash and then whichever one you want. So I'm gonna say border dash left and then we need to change the pixel value to something larger because this is actually going to dictate how big our triangle is. So I'm just going to say something like, actually we'll do something like 50. So it'll be a 50 pixel um, large triangle. We want the um, mode to be solid and then we'll take and change the color to transparent. Now we need to do this on two of the sides and then we'll specify a top or bottom and that's going to actually be what we see. So for the border left, um, we've gotten that one finished so I'm just going to copy that. And we can take and paste that down below. And now all we need to change on this one is the word left to right. So now we have basically two lines that are exactly the same except for um, one is border left and one is border right. So um, once we've done that, I'm just going to paste that down again. And this one's going to be the one that dictates whether this triangle points up or points down. Now, if we say border top, that's going to mean that the triangle points down. It's basically the opposite of what you would expect. So border top points down, border bottom points up. So what we also need to change is instead of a 50 pixel solid and transparent um, color, we want to actually specify a color for this triangle so that we can see something. So we're going to take and change this to black. So instead of transparent, it's going to be black. And now we should be able to test this and see our triangle. So I'm just going to refresh. And you can see now we have a nice triangle right there, completely made out of CSS. So a couple of things to note, if you wanted to uh, modify the size of this, we can change our pixel value. So I'm just going to turn up the top pixel. We can refresh this and you can see that it elongates it and makes it larger. Um, if you want it to scale basically in every direction the same way, you can change these other values to 100 as well. So you can change those separately in order to get different shaped triangles. As you can see, this one's different than this one by changing all of them to the exact same value. Um, so experiment with that in order to get different triangle um, shapes and sizes. So now say that we wanted the triangle to go up instead. So right now it's pointing currently down. I'm looking at this point here. Um, if we wanted it to go the other way, 
Basically, all we need to do is change border top to border bottom. Okay, so if we save that, come over, refresh, you can see that it flips it around to point up. Now, say that we wanted to do left and right. Now, this time we're going to change a couple of other things. Um, if you want your triangle to be pointing top or bottom, um, you need to have the left and right the same, and then this other one is bottom or top. Now, if you want to have it um, be actually going left or right, you need to have this bottom one be left or right and these other ones top and bottom. Now, if that doesn't make sense, here's what we're going to do. Um, where it says border left right now, I'm just going to change that to top. Where it says border right, I'm going to change that to bottom. And then on this bottom line that's off by itself, I'm just going to change that to left, which means that our triangle is going to point right because, again, it is the opposite. So if we take and do this, see it's now pointing right and safe to assume that if we change that to right, it's going to point to the left. So that's um, basically how you can create triangles using CSS. Now, there is one more thing that you want to take into consideration. I'm just going to copy this CSS rule. And we'll make another one. And I'm just going to delete everything except the last line in that rule. And then up here where it says um, hashtag triangle, at the end I'm going to put colon hover. And this is basically going to create a rollover. Now, whenever you have a rollover on your um, divs for your triangles, um, remember that it is essentially a div still. So the border um, or the hover area is not going to be just what you see with the triangle. It's going to be this empty space over here creating this rectangle. So I will change the color so you can see what that, that actually shows. Um, so on this one, I'm just going to change that from a color of black when you roll over it to a color of blue or something kind of radically different. We'll come over to Chrome refresh that and you can see now if I roll over it it changes to blue um, but if we roll over this area over here it also changes to blue so you can see that this area of basically the hit area um, goes all the way in a rectangle so um, not really a problem for in most circumstances but um, just something to be aware of so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, don't forget to subscribe rate and comment I do have a new video tutorial coming out every week so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video